I don't think I'm that flexible. <laughs> getting older, I'm getting old. Well, and you are too, by the way. We're we're all uh, getting older. This, uh, but but you know, most of the time you don't even know it. You you don't even you don't think about it. Except one day you might go, oh, there's a little gray, something like. But normally you don't even think about it. Except those special times when you realize I'm getting older. I've been through one of those. I, I had my 50 year checkup a couple months, a few years. Actually, it's been nearly two decades. They're going on. <laughs> Just out of interest, how many of you have been through that 50 year checkup stuff for your, the hilarity yourself? Anybody out there? Anybody? Yeah, okay. You know that that's the special one, isn't it? That's the one where the normally healthy person has their first exposure to the whole idea of the colonoscopy. I can just break that word down for you briefly. Colon, that's the last five or six feet of the large intestine. And oscopy, oscopy, Latin word, medical term, literally translated, garden hose with camcorder. My doctor was describing for me what I was going to be going through, and I don't know how I got to be 50 years of age without knowing what that pr- procedure, I don't know how that got, got, we've been very healthy in my family, I guess, I just didn't know what it was, and so he's describing for me what I would be enduring, and I should tell you that my doctor is um, actually my best, one of my best friends since college, so for 40 years we've been close friends, he has a wonderful sense of humor, we've had a great relationship, and, and uh, so as he was telling me what I'm going through, because of our relationship, I thought he was joking. <laughs> so my response was, <laughs> oh. <laughs> They are going to put me out for this. I don't know how I feel about my doctor's bedside manner. He actually laughed in my face. (laughs) He said, no, 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 Bob, you can watch the whole thing if you want. I said, no, (laughs) I don't think I'm that flexible. I, I had to drink uh, uh, two big plastic bottles of this stuff meant to cleanse my digestive system. And I don't know how you felt about that stuff, ma'am. But I found, I found that stuff to be really effective. <laughs> 3 a.m., I'm in my favorite place. My wife came in. She said, you, you did dilute this stuff, didn't you? <laughs> well, I would explain it. <laughs> Cleanse my digestive system, every other system. The, the, I lost computer files that night. <laughs> the instruction sheet from the hospital said, before you come for your 6 a.m. procedure, be sure that you drink, listen, 3,800 milliliters of water. I'm from Minnesota, not Manitoba. I have no idea what, what this means. I didn't. I never studied the, the me- metric uh, system. Uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with this term. I've never sold drugs. I did not know what this meant. So 4 a.m. I'm in my kitchen with a bowl and a measuring cup and a ruler. Trying to figure out how many milliliters are in an inch. Don't work too hard on that. The answer is none. 
But then I started thinking, Mila, Mil, 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 I think that junior high coming back, I think that means thousands. So I backed the decimal point up three places to 3.8. Yeah, they shout that out in Canada, by the way. <laughs> 3.8 liters, which is a gallon of water. And I'm thinking, could, is, this, is this possible? Could this be accurate? I'm, I'm typing. I think it, it is. I've never drank a gallon of water in one standing in my life, but, but I did it. And I got to the hospital, and the nurse said, well, Mr. Stromberg, how are you feeling? I said, well, not great. <laughs> I just drank a gallon of water. Can you, can you explain to me why, why I, would, I wouldn't even think it would be safe medically to do such a thing. And she said, well, you need, you're going to need to fill up that little pl uh, the plastic uh, cup, the little cup. <laughs> From here? 